Hello, my friends. My name is DadCraft73, and welcome back to another episode of our Vanilla Minecraft Let's Play series. I hope you're having an amazing day. I hope you're being, you're taking care of yourself, and you're doing all right. That is for sure and for certain. Hey, I'm having trouble getting this video started, and you want to know why? Because there's like business stuff that I have to talk about, and that is my least favorite part about this whole YouTube thing. And I feel like sometimes if I was better at it, it would be better for everybody. But I'm not good at it. So let's just, <laughs> you're going to have to just bear with me for a second. So business. So first of all, I need to talk about server hosting. I, my All of my servers that I have, so both my Patreon servers as well as this server and my modded server are all hosted by uh, Bisect Hosting. And let me tell you what, you are not going to find a nicer and more competent group of people ever in your travels around the Minecraft world. Um, and their prices are competitive, that's for sure. There's a link in the description box down below if you would like to go check out what their service offerings are. They have Java servers, they have Bedrock servers, they also have servers for some other games. And if you want to get yourself a sweet 25% discount, go use the discount code DAGCRAFT73 and check those guys out. Second piece of business, Patreon. I have one. Um, if you'd like to become a member, there's a link in the description box of that down below as well. Um, the big thing about Patreon is um, at the $5 a month tier, you get access to two servers. One is a modded server running whichever mod pack we either decide on as a group of patrons or that I'm playing in a, like a Let's Play type thing. Right now it's got Glacial Awakening on, but we're about to reset that. The other server is Vanilla, and we are resetting that from, I guess it's been running for like uh, two years or a year and a half. We're going to reset it to 1.16.1 this weekend, this coming weekend. So if you want to become a Patreon, go click on all the deals down there. Check that out and see if that's something you want to do. If not, that's cool too. Oh, I think that's all the business. Let's go play Minecraft now instead of trying to handle all that kind of stuff. I'm sorry I'm really bad at it, but you know, we have to do it. Because, you know, it's just part of the deal. Anyway, here are the sheep farms that I'm going to build. This guy's already been sitting here for a while. I don't know how long. Probably at, uh, 45 minutes, maybe an hour. Hmm, something like that close. We'll check on him in a minute. This guy is ready to go. Ready for a sheep to be brought in. And this one I was just starting to build. So I think what I'm going to do is you and I are going to build it together. And I'm going to show you how. I just don't have all the resources, of course. Because I had to get a bunch of dirt. Let's actually go ahead and finish this real quick. I mean, this can all just be dug out or filled in now. Mm -hmm. I, for I forgot when I built... Or when I... Oh, what sort am I trying to say? Um, when I sort of flattened out this area up here, I had like trees up here back in the day. Um, I was growing all kinds of trees up here, oak trees, birch trees, whatever. And there was this big like lake here underground, like this weird like setup. And I had forgotten that I just covered it over <laughs> as opposed to filling it in. So now I'm actually going back in and filling it all in, which is what I should have done in the first place. But whatever, it is what it is. So uh, the, the lake is gone now and now we just have dirt. Okay, so let me run down here and grab a couple resources. And we're going to put these sheep farms. Man, they're so simple and easy. They take like two seconds to build. Um, unless, you know, you are you do wrong things like I did. But I'm going to try to keep you from doing any of those wrong things. And we'll do them together. So we need these guys. We need this. We need this. We need dispensers. Yeah. We need observers. Yes. We need some redstone. Sweet. We need chests. Yeah. Done. Okay. Oh, uh, we are going to need some iron. Hmm. A little short on the old iron supply. Let's get like... That's fine. That'll be plenty. Going to make some shears, of course. We're going to be shearing sheep. That's what we're going to need. All right, let's go build these things. And you are going to be amazed, uh, amazed at how fast they work. Now, they're sort of like AFK farms. But I guess there was a change at some point in the sort of near past where... When a sheep eats grass off the block that an observer is facing into, that it detects that and sends on a redstone signal. So what you can do is as soon as it sees the redstone signal, you can set or sees the grass update, 
you can cycle the redstone and use a shear to shear the wool from the sheep and then just repeat that forever um, as long as the sheep's in this little spot. So let me show you how to build this. So I just put down chests because we need something to output our goods to. We're going to run a hopper into the back of that chest and then on top of that hopper we are going to place a rail and then we're going to make a hopper mine cart like so. And this guy is going to go right on top of that rail just like that. Okay. Now, uh, yeah, now we can go and get a little bit of dirt and fill this back in. Okay. And then fill this in. Might as well just fill it off. We don't have to come back here, down here anymore. Okay. So now we've got sort of this little setup going on here. We can cover this with dirt as well. Now we get our glass. And we're going to make like a plus sign, or like a three parts of a plus sign. And we're going to stack that up too high. Let's actually take this one out. And then we want to get our dispenser. Actually, before we do that, let's go here. And we're going to take our dispenser, or our um, observer, and we're going to shift click it into this block right here. So the arrow that's on top of the observer is facing out, and that dot is right there. Then we can cover this up. Put a piece of redstone dust right there. And then on top of that redstone dust, or on top of the observer, we're going to place a dispenser, face it into this block, right? This block has to be grass, and then we're just going to fill this up on either side, and we're done. Sheep farm complete. All we have to do is we have to make some shears. Okay, and we'll put all those in there. And now this thing is ready for sheep. So what happens is when the sheep eats the grass, the observer detects it, sends a redstone signal up and around to the dispenser, which uses the shears on the sheep, which now has wool. Okay. And then because it's a hopper mine cart underneath that dirt block that the sheep is standing on, it will pull the wool through the dirt into that, into this hopper and into this chest. Simple as that. It's super simple. So now we have three of these set up. We just have to make sure we have, I think we have five sheep. I think we're going to start with four though. Actually, you know what we should do? Let's go gather, let's go round up some sheep <laughs> and see if we can't get them up here. Okay, let's see. All right, I have some leads. And these other ones can be working. Um, you could die. Like you could have like 16 of these, or maybe you have 32 or something like that. You have tons if you need tons and tons of wool. We don't need tons and tons. We need enough to make a bunch of beds to go into the nether so we can blow up some nether rack and see if we can't find some ancient debris. So I don't really care about what color the wool is. But if you want to dye it, like say you want red wool or pink wool or whatever, you dye it whatever color you want, and then you're good to go. I don't really care what color the wool is because I'm just going to use it to make beds. Come on. Okay, let's go this way. No, wait, I don't want you to go this way. I want you to go this way. Come on. Okay. Can you come this way? Okay, down the app. Perfect. And now if we click him, He'll drop the lead, which will probably get put in there. Yeah, along with that and that piece of dirt. Okay, so now this guy is done. The only other thing we need to do is just run some blocks across the top, just because, and then we're done. So these guys now have their forever homes <laughs> inside our little sheep farm, and it's going to be awesome. Let's go grab another sheep, and we'll do that again. And then we'll have three of these things running, and then we just need to build the last two, which normally I'd be like, hey, let's go off camera and do it. But, man, it's so, so easy hello words that we might as well just do it together oh hello that's not good okay come on hopefully we have it may just be four farms I was gonna make like a big sheep pen and like breed all these sheep up but psh, I'm like why I don't, I don't need, like, tons and tons of wool. I just need enough to make a couple beds. And I think what we're going to do is, after a while, after we get these built, I'm going to go AFK for, like, an hour just to see how much we end up with. Okay. Come on, guy. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. You're doing excellent. Boop. Thank you very much. 
All right, and then you guys can get out of here, and we can extend this. Womp, womp, womp. Okay. All right, and then we should have this lead there. Okay, now let's go see if we have any more. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and build another one of these together from scratch. Let me go sleep through the night real quick, and then we'll come back and do this. It's not the most exciting content, but, man, these are so easy to build, and they're kind of fun. You kind of get into a rhythm, and you just kind of knock them out. They're super easy, and they work like a dream. So sleep through the night, and we'll head back up there and take care of building our fourth farm. I know there's one more sheep. I'm hoping there's two more. I'd like to do five of these, and then I could just go AFK for a while and hopefully rake in a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the back part of this one first. We're going to knock out these two blocks right here, and we're going to point into them an observer, like so. Then we're going to fill that block back in, and then he just gets a piece of redstone on top of him, like so. And then on top of the observer, we are going to put a dispenser facing this way, and then we're going to fill out these parts of the of the glass right and we can actually go ahead and fill them all up just like that okay then let's get our shovel okay let's go down a little bit more okay so that's the block on so this block right here this one right here is the one that we want to how we want to collect so let's take our chest and put our chest down right here just to do a little bit of digging here just a little bit okay and then we can run a hopper into the back of that guy like so and get a piece of rail put the rail down convert one of these into a hopper minecart like so and he goes right there okay and then we can fill in this little bit of dirt that we dug out and then we'll just go like so and so Okay, perfect. They're all working like a dream. I love it. Okay. All right, so we have enough pieces parts for one more. Yeah, let's just see what we've got from a sheet perspective. Let's um, put down a block here. There. Now, let's get our leads. See if we can go find Lucky Sheep number four. I think he's over this way. I saw him down here messing around. And I would love to be able to see. see oh, there he is. He's over there. A fifth would be awesome as well. I don't know if we have a fifth. You don't you're not a sheep. Crazy guy. Hello, Mr. Sheep. Don't be going out in the desert, man. Keep going. I don't think I have another sheep. Okay. He's being pretty cooperative. He's coming up here pretty easy. Okay. Now, let's just get him in our pen here. Then we'll have four sheep. Right? Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. And that guy's done as well. And we can just cover the top of this a little bit of glass. Okay. All right. So let me just get on uh, my elytra here and we'll fly. Let's see if we can see another sheep sort of close by that I'll have to like go. Oh, right there. Hello, sir. Wow. Come on. I'll get him up here. I don't know exactly what we're going to do with him once he's here, but then we can build another one of these little sheep pod things, and we're going to be good to go. Yeah, he's being cooperative, too. Yes, yeah, so this is going to be five sheep. I think that's plenty. I mean... If you want to like breed up a bunch of these sheep, maybe have like 16, one for each color, or maybe two for each color, who knows, whatever you end up wanting to do, um, you certainly could, and then, I mean, that would be pretty cool, I think. All right, are you just going to hang out out here, maybe? Okay, so let me build this last one. Uh, I guess we could do it together. Why not? So let's go here and here, right? 
We need to get observer. Okay, put that back. Piece of redstone dust. Dispenser facing here. Do you have shears in you? You do not. Okay, uh, and then we've got to do glass, glass, glass. Okay, well, our sheep is just chilling there. That's good. All right, and then let's go add. That's fine. I'm going to fill that completely up just so I don't have to worry about it again. Okay, so now let's dig our little trench. Okay, so first is our our collection chest. Then we're going to do hopper in the back like that. We're going to do rail like so. Then we're going to do hopper minecart like this. Okay, then we fill this in. Okay. Let me grab this guy. Okay, perfect. All right, so that was done. We just have to get some shears. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. And then this can all go in there as well. Okay, so there we go. So we have five pods now. We just need to have these sheep have the grass texture update or they eat or whatever they need to do. Yeah? All right, so that one's done now. We just have to wait for this other guy. So now all we have to do is just go AFK. We have all of our sheep pods built. So the first one that we built is at 35 or 41 now. Um, some of these other ones, that's 18. That's still pretty good already. That's 9. This is a lead. <laughs> all right, and then what are you? You're a lead and three. Okay, so we just have to wait. I don't know if I need to maybe. Okay. Now that thing, everything should update. So all of them need to be sheared. As soon as they eat grass, they'll get sheared, and then the cycle will repeat over and over again. Okay, so awesome. I'm going to go AFK for about an hour. I'm just going to be chilling out here, and uh, you know, obviously close enough to keep those chunks. So we're just going to go over the house. I mean, that should be close enough. And then I'm going to bring you back on the other side of it, see how much wool we got. We saw how much we've had so far. See how much wool we end up with, and then maybe make a bunch of beds and head off into the nether and see if we can't blow some stuff out. Up. Out. Up. Yeah, you know what I mean. Anyway, I'll see you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we're back. Okay, so it's been another hour. Uh, I, uh, whatever. I had some issues earlier. So what I did is after being AFK for the first hour, I took everything out of uh, out of the chest. Uh, I had like five wool. <laughs> um, I mean, we got more than that. But I took everything out and reset the timer and then waited another hour because I wanted to get a true idea of just how much wool we can expect so this should be one hour's worth of wool harvest from these five sheep let's see so 34 brown 48 white just remember to subtract five from that 36 more 58 and then finally 30 okay so if we take five away one, two, three, four, five. Because that's something I had in my inventory first. This is how much wool we got in one hour of being AFK. So let's say a total of three stacks of wool plus a little bit more, right? Almost three and a half stacks. Man, that's pretty good. Man, it's an awesome little farm. Now, I do want to go get something real quick and just clean up a little bit of the mess that we have there. I don't, I put all my stuff away, but so that's awesome. I'm down. So five sheep gives me, let's see, so that's, um, that's 108. 
uh, 172 plus 34 is a 206 no yeah 206 wool um an hour that's perfect and for five man that's a ton of beds man that's a ridiculous number okay i love that all right so i just want to grab a little bit of dirt uh, we don't need that many pieces but i'll get this one and maybe this. Okay, so let's go fix our little farm here. I did, and I don't know if it makes a difference. I would assume it probably does. I did come back and put a couple torches across the top of the farm over here. Just so the grass would regrow during the night. Because I was just sitting here AFK. Uh, so, yeah, oh, it works like a dream. I love it. So now, I think what we can do is fill in these guys. Because I can still, actually, can I put... Yeah. So I can still reach that. Okay, perfect. If I do one more, I won't be able to reach it. So that's good. So I could go like this. Nope, not like that. Oh, and this should go there. Okay, so that means this needs to go down. Okay, so we want to have that extra grass block right there. We want to have grass all around this thing so it refills the grass as soon as possible. So let's just do it that way. So we'll do one there, and then we'll go like that. We can still get in there and get our wool. So one down there, like this. Okay, so that right there is the completed wool farm. I mean, I don't have to do a tutorial on it. We've already essentially built it together online. I think it works like a dream. Oh, I sort of want to go bed blasting, but at the same time, you know, going to the nether, messing around. I mean, I guess maybe we could... Nah, let's just not worry about it. We, we have some other stuff that we can take care of in today's episode that I would also like to do. So we have now... Oh, it's an awesome little sheep farm. And we can add as many pods as we want to. If we felt like we needed more, then I guess, you know, technically we could add a couple more. But I think we're in pretty good shape. So the last uh, couple things I want to do in today's episode may seem like just kind of busy work. Um, and, and I guess in some respects it might be. We're trying to fill the rest of this time. So passive drops go here. Bump, 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 bump. Yeah! We got that wool. All right, so what I would like to do is... Uh, I need to go and refill this. Let's go grab a little bit of fireworks rockets and maybe we can chit chat about whatever. <laughs> I'm really happy. I don't know. I mean, I guess bed, uh, if we go, I mean, that's what we did on the Truly Bedrock server. We went and did to the nether and blew up like a stack or three stacks of wool or maybe a little bit more than that worth of beds. And it worked out pretty good. So maybe that's what we'll do this time as well. I don't know if we need to do that together though one two three let's get these and convert this all into paper and then let's go here and we will do this and this and this and we want i like the duration two rockets so we'll go like that that's a bunch and like that okay and let's get our shulker box down Okay, let's just keep it there, and we'll make a couple more. Um, I think we've got plenty of gunpowder. I think we're in pretty good shape here. Okay, and then one, two, like so. And then one, two, like so. And then one, two, like so. All right, so that's nine more stacks. So we have a couple more to make. Oh, do we have some sitting around here? Maybe we can steal out of here. Are these like junk ones now? Those are ones. Those are threes. Okay. All right, let's put those back over here. All right, so we can make a couple more. Let's see how many this ends up being. Not those. Okay, let's just make a few more. I forget what this is. Let's go like this, and then we'll split this like that, and do that. Perfect. Then we have enough for the box, and enough for our pocket. Ah, we still need to make... No, that's enough. I think we're good. Alright, so that's taken care of. Now we have all of our rockets back in business. Let's put our extra pieces parts in there. Those can go there, and we'll keep these little guys. These are the weak ones, but it'll be good enough for us. I think we're going to call the episode right there. It's a little bit shorter. I'm, I'm trying to do something a little bit different and try to make these episodes a little bit on the shorter side. I don't know if it's a good thing or not a good thing, uh, but the key is I need to try to get as many people watching as possible, and sometimes maybe when we have a long episode, people are 
less inclined to click. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it more than you can even guess. Until next time, please remember to be cool, don't be a fool, and from my Vanilla Minecraft Let's Play series where we made an awesome and easy and crazy simple AFK sheep farm. I guess we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.